When it comes to sensory work, one of the best places to teach children and adults, even some of our more high dependency kids, is, is outside when it's appropriate. And of course we live in a country where the weather can be extremely variable, but that can be really part of the sensory experience. You know, outdoors is so sensory. Have a look at this. This is the Chelsea Open Air Nursery. I have to say that uh, Catherine Solly, the head teacher, and the team here have just such a fantastic space. Islands of learning, places where kids can really experience what it's like to be outside. Feeling the wind, feeling cold, feeling warm, getting wet, getting dry, all of those essential experiences. We could call this a sensory garden, but you know what? This is one of the most amazing learning spaces outside I've ever seen. Fantastic designated areas. It is a wonderful example of what you can create outside. That's wonderful, isn't it? Chelsea Open Air Nursery, really, really nice. Here's an idea we haven't seen for a while. These OTs used to make these and physios used to have boxes. And what you would do in these like boxes, you'd have stones, you'd have sand, you'd have all sorts of things to give people the experience of walking over uh, different kinds of surfaces. Here's one I managed to film. This one is over in, uh, this is in Southern Ireland. This would be great for those people who, who have autism, just being able to understand what it's like to walk on strange surfaces. For people with visual impairments, especially children, learning to deal with the tactile information coming through the floor. These are absolutely fantastic things. But here's another idea. This is wonderful. Turn it. It's an outdoor rainmaker. I do like that. There were so many ways to make outdoors really interactive. This was a fantastic, have a look at this. This was a brilliant spinning disc that I found in a school. It really does your eyes in, but it's wonderful. So think about the outside, think about how you can do leaf showers, how you can get children under things, over things, to feel things, to see, to just find out what it's like outdoors in the real world. It's wonderful and a great sensory room.